Yeah, so this is day three, Wednesday. So day five for me. We've just left Burnaway this morning, took the ferry across to Harrison Lewis, which is just docking now. And uh, yeah, it's been very efficient. Oh, it's a bit rainy and overcast and very windy. So we have to see what the day brings. Right, let's get off. Looks a little bit steep. A little bit slippy. Stay off the uh, the bits of metal. Oh. So this is Harris. I don't know where we're going, so we'll wait for Robbie at the end. So the restaurant at the port that we were going to stop at isn't open until lunchtime. So uh, we're making our way north and we'll pick up something on the way. So I don't know how much filming I'll be able to do because of the weather, but uh, I'll try and get the um, best I can. So we're heading for Tarbert and I think they're going to get some fuel. So that was the two ladies that were staying at the uh, hostel. A cycling holiday. Alright, so we just filled up the fuel. I just did a splash and dash. I still managed to get six quid in. It's like 130, 136.9 a litre. So we're going to head north, um, but if the weather remains like this, although you get little bright bits, if the weather's going to be rubbish, we're going to just head up to Stornoway and uh, find a cosy pub. Because we're only here for one day, um, but there's no point in riding around getting soaking wet and cold for no reason. Well, I just had to catch Johnny up because he rode off with his side stand half down. So it must have been just uh, just off from cutting out the cut, cut out switch. But the first corner he left under, he went round, it would have dragged on the floor, so. Yeah, there's two ladies again, I don't envy them. Bad enough on a motorbike. Well, some nice views, even though the weather's a bit rubbish. It's a nice sandy beach ahead. I'll give you a little wipe so you can have a look. You're welcome. Yeah, it's been sun shining over there. Beautiful. And it looks like we're heading that way. I appear to have more rain on the inside of my visor than the outside at the moment. So that could be a little bit of a problem. surface is a bit rubbish. Look at all the traffic. Whoa, yeah, it's very nice. I have to keep my eyes on the road though because there's a bit of a drop off to the left hand side. And the road's not particularly wide. be 11 degrees, which is about 20, 20 degrees warmer, we'll be in paradise. That's just ridiculous. Yes, have a bit of that. Don't mind a bit of drizzle if you get views like that. Oh, 
we're stopping for. Photo op. Photo op. Yeah, no point getting my big camera out if it's raining. Because it'll uh, it's a bit windy, so it'll just get a bit out of focus. You'll have to settle for a, a helmet cam snap. Oh, it's lovely. There's a bit of, bit of heather there. A bit of purple heather. Yellow sand. Cloudy skies. Lovely beaches. Golf course. No one out playing today. Let's put the heat grips on. Keep me, this stops my gloves from getting completely saturated. Even though the waterproof gloves are. Uh, uh, Bloody hell! He had a Phillip Island incident where I took a head bite of a seagull. He was just floating around in the breeze, enjoying life, and they nearly ended mine. Oh, oh well, perhaps he was just enjoying the view like uh, like the one that's up ahead. Oh dear, that was close. That was too close. an adrenaline rush. Right, I think it's like stopping for another photo op. Oh, that's quite impressive, there's a little uh, house up in the rocks there, nicely disguised, it doesn't stand out. With amazing views over the uh, over the bay. That Volvo wasn't planning on stopping. Apparently the sea... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Apparently the seagull uh, nearly hit Johnny as well. And Robbie's just nearly got hit by one. Almost uh, playing a game of chicken with us. It's just bloody... Look, look at the colour of that sea! Beautiful. Every corner you come round, there's another one. Well, that's very impressive. Not the wheelie bin, obviously, but the, the beach. Let's try and get the wheelie bin out of the shot. But yeah, they've, uh, they've got people down there surfing. Bodyboarding. <laughs> Why not? Seagulls getting close again. Bugger off. Well, it's been quite impressive so far, other than the weather. And we're heading up into the hills where it's likely to get a little bit uh, worse. Oh, we've just come around the corner. And uh, it's, the landscape's completely changed. It's um, very sort of, very Norway ish, really. Lots of rocks we've set into uh, the heather and the moss. Nothing else here. Like being on another planet. And some of the driving from the people coming the other way has been on another planet. Because they're not using the passing places. They just think, oh, it's motorbikes, we'll squeeze through. And they've got a bit of a situation in a couple of places but the bits of brand new road they've put some brand new pieces of road in like that and uh, absolutely excellent you can see the road snaking off into the distance well, it's getting a little bit windier the higher we climb up this road the uh, the windier it's getting the bikes getting thrown about a bit Seems to be coming from the right hand side. Got a bit of a headwind now. I'm trying to duck behind the screen and uh, shelter from it a little bit. It's like being in a blooming spin dryer. Oh, we found a little sheltered spot right at the top. 
it's next to no wind whatsoever. The sheep have had enough, they're hiding out the way. Yeah, it's very strange. But there's next to no traffic now, we're got out of the uh, more habitated places. Oh, we just, oh dear, excuse me. We're just coming up to the Harris Tweed Company. That's where Stuart and uh, Alison have gone to buy us some loveliness. I think it was one of the conditions of Alison coming on the trip. Finn's bought a handbag for his wife. He bought that yesterday. So they're all going to be in the good books when they get home. It's ridiculous, I can't believe that the, as soon as we got up to altitude, the wind has completely stopped. So that comes down the corner, gets blasted in the face. Well, the wind appears to be back. We've been blowing the bike all over the road. I'm having to lean off to the right hand side. It's coming straight off the sea, straight up the valley. And uh, yeah, the wind turbines are loving it, but um, me not so much. Oh, it's dried off a little bit now. Bit of shelter. I can't work out if my waterproof trousers are leaking or it's just that my legs are cold. I suspect the former. But uh, I'm alright for the time being. I don't know about my jacket because I've got my uh, big thick fleece on underneath. I'll have to check when I stop. <laughs> 